Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Amera Cooking. Today I have a very special treat for you. I'm here with Kini Christie of My Mom's Pies. How are you doing? Hi Erica, great, thank you. Could you tell me a little bit, what kind of pies do you make? Well, we make all kinds of pies, but basically they're handmade, mm. um, old-fashioned pies the way my grandmother used to make them. Okay. So they're fruit pies and cream pies and lemon meringue and key lime and wow. pecan and pumpkin. Oh There's gosh. a whole lot of pies. You can make pie out of anything. Do you make certain pies for certain seasons? Pumpkin and pecan are very popular around Thanksgiving. And at Christmas, a lot of people love cherry pie. Mm -hmm. The rest of the flavors all year round okay. are really popular. Um, in the summer, we love the peach and the cherry because they're grown locally here. My grandmother on my mother's side, Hazel, uh, she taught me at her kitchen table and we would just use little cups and sprinkle a little of this and a little of that and you know mm -hmm. she didn't teach me any measurements or anything and okay. I just loved it as a little girl. I had two sisters and I was the one that loved to make the pie. They <laughs> learned but they thought it was a lot of work. <laughs> so a lot of people think pie is very hard to make mm. and really a lot of work. And it's not? Well for me it's just fun. Okay. You know? <laughs> it's sort of like working with clay or mm -hmm or making anything, you know, it, it, it takes a certain amount of intuition and, okay. um, and work with your hands. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you use the recipes that your grandmother used or kind of your own take I on I use it? her basic recipe. I uh, cut down on the sugar. Okay. I don't use as much sugar as she okay. did. And I use more butter because back then butter was uh, was it really scared? a luxury. Oh, okay. It's much more available now, mm -hmm. so we use more butter. <laughs> now tell me, what is going on behind us? Well, we have Will and my husband Jeff in the green shirt and mm -hmm. Olivia and Allison mm -hmm. all making pie. They're making okay. the three inch pies. We call them the palm pies because they fit in the palm of your hand. Got it. So Olivia's got um, blackberry, raspberry, blueberry, oh. and cherry over there. Mm. And Allison is pressing the tops, uh -huh. and she's going to put those over there on those blackberry raspberry. When you do the edge, it's called the crimp around the edge of the pie, okay. and that's the crust. And everybody has their own crimp, and it's sort of hmm. their touch on the pie. Hmm. Every pie is actually a work of art. It's someone has made it with their hands, mm -hmm. and no two pies are alike. In this country now, in our culture, a lot of the pies are manufactured in factories mm -hmm. and done with by machines they don't have the same amount of fruit and they're yeah. not they're nothing like these homemade pies with each generation people fewer aren't people cooking as much and a lot of people now at, at this point in time have never had a homemade pie have you been able to pass on knowledge of making pies by hand to next generation Yes, definitely with my children, okay. my sons and my daughter, um, and then also the people that work here. I hope that they carry it out into the world. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I've also taught pie classes. People can wow. come here and they right. love it when they've made the pie and they mm. can't, they're so proud of their pie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that you guys have a chance to come here to Boulder, Colorado to eat some of my mom's pies that Kini makes. And maybe next time in China. That would be great. I'd love that. Bye. Bye.